SARS-CoV-2 has infected over 67 million people worldwide, with 1.5 million global deaths. In the U.S. alone, there have been over 282,000 deaths. There is no doubt that as we close in on vaccine distribution, emergency nurses will encounter significant challenges ahead. Educating ourselves, our peers, friends and family, and the public to help build confidence in the vaccines will be essential in helping to combat COVID-19. As emergency nurses, we understand vaccines are one of the greatest healthcare achievements in medicine. How we message this and how we model our own behavior will be critical in the next phase of vaccine distribution. To be able to educate the public, it is imperative that we educate ourselves with science-driven information. One of the common reasons people are hesitant about receiving the COVID-19 vaccine is they fear these vaccines have been developed too rapidly. Many people are unaware of the different phases of a clinical trial. The intention of this COVID bite is to provide a breakdown of the different phases and arm you with the knowledge so that you can help educate others. Currently, there are three vaccines that will soon be available. Each of these vaccines are at the end of phase three trials. The phase one trial is a basic test of safety. It enrolls small numbers of healthy adults and it may attempt to determine a useful dose while also making sure that no immediate safety concerns are identified. In the case of the Moderna mRNA vaccine, the outcome measures for this phase were one, an antibody response, immunogenicity, and two, a side effects profile, safety. In this phase, 45 healthy adults aged 18 to 55 were put into three groups, each getting a different dose of the vaccine. Each volunteer got two doses, 28 days apart. In phase two, more safety tests on more people are conducted. Researchers assess signs the vaccine is producing the required response, essentially determining the right dose. Phase two is a larger safety test with a more diverse group of participants to make sure the vaccine is safe in people of different ages, weights, genders, and ethnicities. Phase three is an efficacy trial, which means the vaccine is given to an even larger group of people, as in tens of thousands of people, to see if the vaccine works to prevent illness. The goal is to determine the degree of efficacy of the vaccine. Before volunteers are vaccinated, they are tested to make sure they do not have COVID-19. Phase three is a randomized controlled double blind trial, meaning half of the participants are given a placebo and the others are given the vaccine. In this phase, outcomes in terms of infections and side effects are tracked. Researchers watch closely to see whether the participants develop COVID-19 related symptoms like fever, headache, shortness of breath, dry cough, or gastrointestinal distress. Neither the investigators nor the participants know who has been given the placebo or the vaccine at the time of injection. Phase four of a clinical trial involves regulatory approval and licensure. After a successful phase three trial, vaccine manufacturers apply to regulatory bodies such as the European Commission or the US Food and Drug Administration, FDA. At this stage, clinical trial data is reviewed to make sure the vaccine is safe and effective. Finally, in phase five of a clinical trial, after the vaccine is approved and licensed, regulatory agencies stay involved, continuing to monitor production, inspecting manufacturing facilities, and testing vaccines for potency, safety, and purity. The FDA continues to monitor for adverse events. The result of these different phases of a clinical trial is a potentially life-saving vaccine. In most cases, these multiple phases of vaccine development take years, and thus the rapid production of the COVID-19 vaccines concerns and even scares many people. This fear that the COVID-19 vaccine has been developed too rapidly can easily cause vaccine hesitancy. How do we know it's safe? How were researchers able to make it so quickly? How do we know that shortcuts were not taken? 
Have these vaccines been tested? These questions are common and will likely be asked. It will be important for emergency nurses to educate others that the rapid pace of the COVID-19 vaccine's development is due to several factors. It must be explained that typically there are several processes involved in research of a vaccine. Theoretical development, grant writing, approvals for trials, negotiations with drug manufacturers, and recruitment of subjects to take part. All of these processes can take years to get from one phase to another. Educating the public that researchers were not starting from scratch to develop a COVID-19 vaccine is also imperative. Past research on vaccines for other coronaviruses, such as SARS and MERS, has helped immensely to identify potential approaches. Technological advances enabled rapid isolation and sequencing of the virus's genome, became available in January 2020. The COVID-19 vaccine process has been quite different because unlike other clinical trials, it was well-funded and governments partnered with research facilities and manufacturers, which cut administrative delays that would typically take up many years of development time. A vaccine works best when everyone in the community has the confidence to be vaccinated. ENA has partnered with the COVID-19 Vaccine Education and Equity Project to promote factual information on the vaccines and equity in distribution. Please visit ENA's COVID-19 Resources webpage to access helpful evidence-based resources for yourself and your patients to help educate them on vaccine development and approval processes. If you have a chance, listen to the other COVID-19 bites that talk about how a vaccine works and modeling science-driven behavior.